for another episode of Hangouts with Hank. Let's give Hank a call and see what he's been up to. Hi, oh, Harry. hi. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing great. How are you today? I'm doing pretty well. Mm -hmm, Ooh, mm -hmm. Hank, I see that you have books behind you and I have a I do. Or beside me. I love books. Me too. And who else loves books? Um, oh, I know. Yeah? Miss Lisa from the Ms. library. Miss Lisa! Let's give her a call. Good idea. Hello? Oh, hi. Hi, Miss Lisa. Hey, it's so good to see you guys again. I've missed you. Missed it's great to see you, too. too. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so, I'm so glad to hear that you that you haven't lost your love for books. I love books. Me I yeah, read I, so I, many I love books. books during these past months. Mm -hmm. Me too. Books are my favorite. I love to read and I love to read outside, inside, in my cozy corners, anywhere. Really. <laughs> oh, let me get my favorite book. I'll be right back. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> this is what I've been reading recently and I love it. It's about a ninja. Oh, I love on the ninja. farm. Da, 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 da. Oh, that was like a great oh, book. Oh, there right? it is. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, Hank, the way you're holding that reminds me. Let's go over yeah. the ways to hold and read a book. Oh, good idea. Okay. So I have a book right here. I think Miss Lisa has a book too. I do. And we'll go over just the ways to hold it and to turn the pages and different parts of the book. So you hold your book like this, where the spine or the binding is on the left. So you can oh. open up the book like this. And this is the cover of the book. It has the title and the author and also the illustrator. That's the person who draws the pictures. I like drawing pictures. Me too. When you open up the book, these are the end pages. And these are really fun to look at because sometimes, like on Miss Lisa's book, they give you clues as to what the story will be about. Pretty cool, huh, Hank? Those are neat. And then there's always a title page and that restates the title and gives us the author and the illustrator's names again. And again, there are some little hints about what the story will be about. I like penguins too. Notice, me too, Hank. Notice how we're turning the pages very gently, right, Miss Lisa? Absolutely, nice and gentle. Mm -hmm. From the yep. left to right, just exactly. like that. Yes. Yep, you don't wanna tear them. Front to back. And then you read your story like this, left to right. Oh, well, my book that's doesn't easy. have any words because some books don't. And then when you get to the end, there are some more end pages. Sometimes they're different than the front ones and sometimes they're the same. And then you close your book and you're done. <laughs> That's neat. It is pretty neat. So Hank, where did you always love to go to get your books? Uh, I like to go to the library. The library, yeah. But, but I've never um, been able to go to the library building so I've had to come up with some different ways to read my books. Really? How do yeah. you read your books? Well, one thing I love to do is just to find a book around my house, like this one. And I like to read it to my little Hank, because I can't Aww. see him in person. That's sweet. And even my breathing buddy bear, too. <laughs> and my favorite thing to do are to find books that don't have any words, so that I can make up the words as I read through it. That's oh, that's neat. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very cool. Oh, I have a question for Miss Lisa. Yeah? Uh, Miss Lisa, where is your favorite place to read a book? My favorite place to read a book in the summer? Yeah. It's on my backyard swing. Oh. Just like that. I love to curl up in my backyard with a good book on my swing. That looks perfect. It's so cozy and sunny. <laughs> And, it, and in the winter time, I just like to read on my sofa, curled up. But in the summer, I love to be outside. So there I am outside enjoying my book on my swing. That <laughs> That's great. <perfect. laughs> but Hank, I wanted to tell you now that you can start getting books from the library again. Did you know that? Really? You How do you do that? But it's, well, it's a curbside pickup. Just like what you, probably you've gotten pizza or hamburgers. Uh, through a curbside pickup lately. Yeah, I have. Yeah, you, you drive up and go, hur, hur, and yep. you bring your stuff. That's exactly what you do. <laughs> Except what you have to do is you need to tell mom or dad the books that you would like to read. And we also have a catalog at the, at the Columbia Public Library website 
And at LancasterLibraries.org, it'll say search the catalog. And you can pick out books about ninjas. You can pick out, out books about monsters, whatever oh. you want to read about. And then you make a list or tell mom or dad to make a list of the books you want. And then you have your family member call the library, and our number is, and I'll say it slow so you can, people can write it down, 717-684-2255. And you'll need to give them your name and the number of your library card and the names of the books that you want. And your uh, uh, grown-ups are allowed to get up to five books. Whoa. And boys and girls can pick two books per child at a time to get ready for summer reading, which we're going to have again this year. Oh, that's great. <laughs> It'll be a little different. And then after we pick the books for you and your parents, we will call you back and say, we have an appointment time for you to come up in your car uh -uh, and pick up your books. <laughs> And we'll hand them to you in a bag, just the same way you get your hamburgers and your pizza. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, that makes me so happy that we have more access to books now. We've had people coming in this morning and picking them up through the window, and the books are all in a bag, so it's, it's contact-free. And people are so excited to be able to start getting books again. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that I is pretty amazing. That is um, pretty But amazing. you said something about summer reading? Yeah. Yes, we are having summer reading, and it's all going to be virtual this year. Virtual means, of course, we'll be watching it on the computer, mm -hmm. and I have a long list here of all the programs that we're going to be having this summer, and Whoa. you know what? I noticed, Hank, in reading this list, three of them were about you. Oh, yeah, I have story times. Yes, you have three story times. You have your sensational day. Yep. And you also uh, have your healthy smile for cleaning yep. your teeth. And of course, learning about germs. That's a very good thing <laughs> right now yeah. with all the hand washing we've been doing. Okay. And some of the other presenters that are going to be presenting online, we have the Lancaster County Parks are going to be doing Johnny Appleseed. Wow. Uh, Ryan Bridge is going to be here with his bugs. I know everybody likes to hold the bugs. I love bugs. Fortunately, we can't do that. So no. this year, we'll just have to look at them. Uh, Tammy Hessen is going to teach us how to drum for fun. Ooh. The Girl Scouts are going to be sharing endangered animals. Fred McNaughton is going to give a live concert on Zoom in July. And Jesse Rothaker is going to have the reptiles on. Ooh, on uh, cool. July the 13th, again, all of this is through Zoom, so you'll be watching it on your computers. Cool. Uh, then, of course, we have Hank coming up. Uh, the Girl Scouts are having something called the Go Steam Summer Spectacular. Huh. Uh, they're also providing master builders. Uh, we have, um, from Giant, we have Kylie Knitter is going to teach us how to make a healthy rainbow parfait. So we have a lot of programs coming up. It's definitely been a, a little different summer mm -hmm. because we can't get together at the school like we usually yeah. do. And I miss that. But at least this is something that people can join in Absolutely. by watching on the computer. And there is something that I'm going to be showing families how to do called Bean Stack. When you sign up to read your books this year, Hank, you're going to go on a program called Bean Stack. Oh. And as soon as Miss Lisa knows how to do it herself, she's going to teach you and everybody else how to do it, okay? I like it. <laughs> not bean good. stack, not bean stalk, bean stack. Got it. Like putting beans one on top of the other. <laughs> exactly. That's a very good way to put it. That makes hmm. me so excited that we have more access to books and that the summer reading program is still going on, just in a different way. Because I love summer reading. Me too. Yeah. I do too. It's one of my favorite parts of my job. I love summer <laughs> reading. Mm -hmm. I so, Miss uh, Lisa, Ooh, no. I have a question. Yeah. What are some of your favorite stories? Well, you I know, actually lessons. this book along to show you this Going Someplace Special is always one of my favorite books to read aloud. Oh, and the yeah. reason I like it so much is it shows that libraries are for everybody. 
It doesn't matter if you're old or young, if you're rich or poor, what color skin you have, what, mm -hmm. what kind of church you go to, what country you come from. Libraries are the perfect place for everyone and everyone is always welcome at the library. Oh, I love and I also jotted down a couple of my other favorite books. When I was growing up, my favorite books were by Beverly Cleary. Oh. And she wrote about Ramona Quimby. And Ramona was kind of the original Junie B. Jones back mm -hmm. in, in my day when I was little. And I always loved Beverly Cleary books when I was growing up. And nowadays, I like to read more things like mysteries, like books by Lisa Scottolini mm. or Irene Hannon. And I especially like Lisa Scottolini because her books take place in Philadelphia, which isn't too far from where we yeah. live. Well, I, I like the mouse, the motorcycle. I do too. I do too. Yeah, that's <laughs> about Ralph the mouse. But I yeah. don't think Ramona's in that one, but it's still a good book. No. Yeah. <laughs> but I like it a lot. <laughs> that's good. Do you have a motorcycle, Hank? Um, I don't. I do a bike, though. Well, there, I, I do. I also have a bike. I took a long bike ride on the trail last night. I enjoyed it. <laughs> That's so nice fun. to be able to get outside and ride bike again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like my bike because it has a bell and it goes ding, 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 ding. <laughs> oh, neat. I think my bike has everything but a bell. Wow. <laughs> I'm impressed. You need a bell then. <laughs> I do. I do. I'll put that on my, my shopping list, Hank. Get a bell for the bike. Yeah, good idea. Exactly. Would you like to hear about some other places where you can uh, read books while you're waiting to pick them up from the library? Ooh, I you, would. Did you ever hear about my podcast? Did you know oh, I have podcasts? No, I didn't. You, Hank, I can't believe it. Uh, go to our library webpage, columbiapubliclibrary.org, yeah. and click where it says CPL Podcast. I read 12 different fairy tales on there. And you can listen to them whenever you want. Wow. They're on there for anyone to listen to. And there's some other places you can also listen to stories. You can go to storylineonline.net. And if you go again to our webpage and choose about us and then library resources, you can listen to Tumble Books, which are really cool, but you do have to have your library card number to use Tumble Books. And also, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm our, tumbling. Yes. Oh, Hank, do you remember <laughs> Tommy the dog? Remember? Yeah, how I love Tommy. Tommy last year. Tommy and I are going to be reading again on Zoom. The only thing is, it's going to be more storytelling instead of story reading, mm -hmm. because we have to be careful anytime we read a book online because of all the copyright details. So I'll be more telling stories, but Tommy will be with me uh, starting toward the end of June. And Tommy has a little brother, Dylan, now. Oh. <laughs> yep, he's just a pup, but he's growing fast. Sounds oh. super cute. Mm -hmm. oh, you know, I'm anxious for you to be able to see Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> little Dylan. <laughs> Another another thing that I've been using to listen to stories is just playing YouTube or other video sites like that, where you can type in the name of a book and then read aloud, and it'll show you a video of it. Yep. Really? And reading, Ra cool. reading Rainbow is still around some, too. Just type Reading Rainbow on YouTube. Love reading, Rainbow. Uh, reading Rainbow! Yes, <laughs> you remember. <laughs> hey, look, a butterfly. Oh. <laughs> Are you outside, Hank? No. I, I'm just pretending. Ah, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> I was looking out my window here trying to see the butterfly and I didn't see one. I wasn't sure where you were at. Hank, you can use your imagination like that when you're watching the different insects and bugs on the videos. You can pretend that you're holding them in your hand. That Good is idea. right. I was gonna say, yes, Mr. Ryan is going to bring his bugs. Uh, let me check bugs. Mr. Ryan. Uh, June 30th, it's a Tuesday at 10 o'clock. I'll remind you of that, Hank, so you can be sure to zoom in with us. Mm -hmm. That'd be neat. That's going to be a fun one. It will be. Hmm. Oh, another thing, Hank, if people want to listen to stories, is they can always watch our Hank and Friends story times. Yeah, Monday, yeah, Wednesday, so and Friday. Mm -hmm. 
absolutely. Yeah. And I, th Hank, I think this is so neat. What you're doing is getting together with all your friends in the community because it's been so long since we've seen one another and it's nice yeah. to be able to start connecting again. Absolutely. It really is. <laughs> you know, I mentioned this to Miss Renee down at the system. You know, Miss Renee. I she do. She was so yeah, excited her. about this. She wants to be able to see this video after you guys go live with it. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds fun. One. Mm hmm. Hank, do you have any other questions for Miss Lisa? Um, I don't think so, but I do have a joke. <gasps> Ooh, let's Okay, hear I gotta joke. hear the joke. What's your joke, Hank? What building in Lancaster has the most stories? What building in Lancaster has the most stories? Like floors? Mm -hmm. I don't stories. know. Could be the maybe public the library. Ah, uh. the public <laughs> library. Oh, like, like stories. Stories. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good oh, one, right? Hey? Gotcha. Lots and lots of stories. <laughs> All right, Hank and Miss Lisa, should we have a dance party to say our goodbyes? Great Absolutely. idea. Right, Perfect. Let me get the disco ball. And I'll turn on the music. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. I love dancing. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank Bye -bye. you so much, Miss Candace. Thank you, Hank. I and miss you guys. guys. Miss you too. Oh, uh, we'll see one another again soon. <laughs> Absolutely. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for joining us on Hangouts with Hank. We hope to see you next time. Until then, hang loose.